Hey guys, welcome to 3D Printer Anatomy. I'm your host, Alec, and this week we're gonna talk about extruders. To pull filament off a spool and push it into the hot end, there is a motor with a gear attached to it, and this is called an extruder, and sometimes referred to as a cold end as well. And there are different configurations for how exactly the extruder is mounted. It can be mounted to the frame, which is called Bowden. It can be mounted to the print head, which is called direct drive. Or it could be mounted somewhere in between, which is called floating. Let's dive into what each one does and what they're best at. With 3D printers that have extruders mounted to the frame, those are called Bowden. And with Bowden setups, there is a PTFE or Teflon tube connecting the extruder to the hot end, directing the filament to it. And with these setups, because you're decreasing the mass of the print head by moving the motor or the gears and all that to the frame, you're able to print a lot faster with less calibration. However, you are going to need to do some retraction settings and some calibrating because it is a bit more prone to oozing. With direct drive extruders, the extruder is mounted directly to the print head. And with this, it's a bit more responsive, so you can print things like flexibles easier and with less troubleshooting than with a Bowden setup. On top of that, Direct drive extruders are a little easier to troubleshoot in general because they don't have as much oozing and leaking like a Bowden system might. However, by adding the motor to the print head, you increase the mass up of a moving part, meaning you will need to print just a little bit slower, or if you want to try printing faster, you're going to need to do a lot of calibrating and troubleshooting to be able to do that. There's a third not often seen setup called floating or flying extruders. And what this does is take the motor, and instead of mounting it to the frame, and instead of mounting it to the print head, it just floats between the two. So with strings and counterweights, it suspends the extruder above the print head, giving it a very short filament path, which means it's easier to print flexibles and troubleshoot. But by having it suspended, it reduces the mass of the print head, giving you the advantages of Bowden. Like I said, I haven't seen it often, and really the only times I've seen it are on Delta printers, and it looks like it works on those machines, it's just something you don't see very often. Now within these categories, there's one subcategory, direct and geared extruders. And with direct extruders, there is a gear on the motor shaft, and this is the one that interacts with the filament. With geared extruders, there is a gear in the motor shaft connected to another gear, and that second one is the one that interfaces with the filament. Now between these two, on the geared setups, that can work with 175 very easily or three millimeter filament very easily. But with the direct, you don't get enough torque to be able to push out three millimeter filament. It can do 175 no problem, but once you get into three mil, there is a lot of torque that needs to be put into it in order to get the filament to push through the nozzle. Which is why you see the Wade's extruder on a Lulzbot, which has a small gear on the motor and a big gear that's attached to the hot bolt. There's just a different way about doing it. You can have a direct direct drive printer, a geared direct drive printer. You can have a direct Bowden printer. There are different ways to set it up depending on what size filament is actually going to be run through it. That about sums up the various kinds of extruders and their subcategories. I hope you enjoyed learning more about how your 3D printer works or how various other 3D printer works. Don't forget to stay tuned for more episodes of 3D Printer Anatomy. I'm your host, Alec. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.